Hey Internet, so I've been thinking, whilst I like to refer to my channel as the Internet Support Group because I make things that we can all laugh at and talk about together, I feel like I want to do something that really makes a difference. So as I like to think of myself as someone who's made a lot of mistakes in my life, so many mistakes. I think I'm in a position where I could give valuable advice to you. So that's what I'm gonna do. I sent out a tweet yesterday asking for people to send me their problems and now as a group, we can discuss them. Just FYI, I consider calling this video Agony Dan, like Agony Yarn, but then I thought it sounded a bit too much like a super villain porn star, so. Legal disclaimer. Don't listen to any of my advice. Okay, so I have an email from Vicky Moran who says, my cat threw up on my keyboard and now the key stick, what do I do? Good start. eBay it. Someone somewhere is into that. Eleni, age 20 from Australia, writes, I'm in love with someone who doesn't know I exist. What do I do? Oh, here we go. Find if there's a tree outside his bedroom window and spy on him when he gets out of the shower. Okay, here we have an email from Maddie, who's 14 from London, who says, Dan, I like this guy, but my best friend also likes this guy, but he doesn't like her, he likes me, so should I go for it or keep my friendship? Bros before hoes is what people say before they suddenly realise how cripplingly lonely they are and that they're doomed to shrivel into old age without companionship. But be careful how you go about it. Here I have an email from Reese, who is 18 from Brighton, who sent me a big chunk of text that I spent about 10 minutes reading before I realised he had just typed out the story for High School Musical. Thanks, Reese. <sighs> this is going well. Okay, Kira, who is 15 from Germany, says that she's just moved to a new school, but she's too shy to go speak to new people. Kira, I've spent the last 48 hours in this bedroom wading through over 3,000 emails from teenagers that are mostly trying to troll me. Do I look like I can help you make friends? Here we have Liana, age 12, from Ohio. Dear Dan, I really like this boy. Right, okay. Alright, here we have Dalal who says that she's obsessed with boys and bands and she just can't and really needs to change because it's getting out of hand. So you can't sleep because the thoughts of all these boys and bands just won't get out of your head. Imagine them pooping. Just imagine it. Alright, there we go. Ben, who is 16 from Wolverhampton, says, Hey Dan the man, yesterday my mum walked in on me playing Call of Duty naked in my bedroom, sat on my beanbag. Fuck your life. Juliana, who is 20 from Miami, says, Dan, how do you get people to hop off your shit? Sass them on the internet, then block them, unplug your computer and go hide. Erin Rowland said, my boobs are too small. And then drew a dinosaur out of text. Well, you came to the right guy. Mirato, who is 17 from Greece's problem, is that when she kisses her boyfriend, it's like he's trying to stick his tongue down her throat. Watch a romantic film with him, and when the characters kiss, say, Wow, that is the perfect kiss. Just like that. And if he suddenly breaks into tears, then you know he's got the message. Griff, age 15, wants to know, why are One Direction so popular? Right, okay, I don't know if your parents haven't explained this, but I'll give it a go. This is a vagina. Now, when a girl reaches a certain age, she starts... No, no, what am I doing? Angel, who is 15 from Boston, says that once her cousins made her eat chicken poop and now she can't look at chocolate without throwing up. Look, okay, one thing I always say is that life is precious and, you know, no matter what, you, you just need to stay positive and try to make your life the best it can because life is always worth living. But in this case, I, I'm really not sure, I'm so sorry. Okay, I've had an email from Stephen, who's 22 from Dublin, who said, My whole life I had to deal with pricks at school who had a problem with me for no reason other than I was a nice guy who wasn't interested in being violent or a wannabe gangster. And now I've got a job, but there's still a couple guys who have the same attitude. I have awesome friends, but whenever I see these guys at work, I can't stand them. I feel your pain. Okay, just trust me there. We just have to accept that for a multitude of social and biological reasons, the world is full of dicks. It always has been, it probably always will be, and one of the best ways to cope is just to think about how you're not a dick and your friends aren't dicks and if you ever have children then you'll bring up wonderful, respectful, awesome humans into the world that will make it a bit less crap and we just have to know that us guys on the internet are here for each other and we understand. Wow, I said the word dick quite a lot then. Alright, here we have Sophie who is 15 from Kentucky who says, Hey Dan, so basically I have this massive crush on my biology teacher. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there. No. And finally, a guy called Dan, who's from Hertfordshire, who says, Here's my problem, Dan. Me and my mum watch your videos, and we can't decide which one of us should get to ravish you. Wink face. And on that note... Hey, so you know, I felt like we discussed quite a few good issues there. It was fun. Mostly. 
Let's do that again sometime. If you have something to say about any of those questions, then please let me know down in the comments, or you could even feel free to get stuff off your chest. I mean, I'm gonna be here. And you can even get the opinions of completely unqualified anonymous people on the internet. And this week's Why Do You Exist Please Don't Spread Your Jeans Award goes to Mr. Senat Pagacha, who left a comment on my smoking video saying, You fucking no-lifer talking about smoking like that? I smoke about four years, and I'm 16 now. I'll probably will have some health problems, but talking about smoking and why people smoke, please. Only a man who's smoking can talk why, is it cool or not? You're totally forever alone guy. Faggot. God bless you, internet. Favourite creepy thing that Dan subscribers did this week goes to Tumblr user Elephant's Face, who made this. <coughs> Here's emasculation cyberbullying. See you next week. Okay, here we go. There's my crotch. Are you happy now? Is it better if I do a bit of wiggling while I'm at it? Are you satisfied? Am I jiggling enough for you? After video bit. Um, so you know that weird singing competition thing everyone on YouTube was doing? You know, the one where everyone was like... Uh... Well... We won Super Notes! Oh my god! Yes, and when I say we won it... We freaking demolished it! So yeah, that is incredibly awesome, and I will be making a video talking all about that, and announcing the winners from my team on my side channel tomorrow, so look forward to that, and... Bye! Hey internet, so I've been thinking, whilst I like to call my channel... The Alarm Group for Alarms, because now that I've moved to London, my videos are mostly alarms.